This time, the Shifu just basically asked him, what do you want to learn? I said, Sunda. And he looked at me as well. You know, he had me spar a little bit and whatever. He goes, all right, well, you're not, you're not very fast. He goes, you're 46 years old. You're never going to be fast. Your kicks are never going to be good. Let's work on your strength. Work on your strength and your fitness. And so probably 70% of what I've done here has been strength and fitness work. Smile for the camera. Those are unsubstantiated allegations. <laughs> <laughs> go. Did you say go. three, two? Okay. Go. You just want to go three. Thank you. You're on. Oh, you're not supposed to say thank you because And then I go. <laughs> okay. Hey. Uh, <laughs> this, this is my big friend AJ. He came to Shaolin to visit me. Say hi, AJ. Hello, AJ. I mean, I'm hi. AJ. Hi. Yeah, you know, you had one line. Yeah, sorry. I'm fucking, I blew it. I blew it. Hi. So every morning we got a Kang Sa Dai because it's like doing a man carry and also because I, I can't run because both my knees are gone and both my ankles are gone. But I can carry a guy and if I ever need to carry a guy, I could carry him. And, and apparently I could carry wheels. Uh, in case death were to come up in, uh -huh. in a fight. If your car gets stuck in a ditch and I need to like, something like that. Yeah, so, um, all right, we'll talk more later. <laughs> And then 30% uh, learning Sanda, learning uh, basics of Sanda so that I can prepare. Uh, starting in September, I'll be at Shanghai Sports University full time. <laughs> all the exercises we're doing right now, it's all got to do with this one throw. Okay, this is, this is a basic Sanda throw. Look at this. If I go in here and I can protect myself so he can't punch me, I protect myself. I'm going to use this hand and I'm going to push him here. I'm going to shoot my hand inside. I'm going to push his head and I'm going to kick his leg here. This is a throw from the clinch. And um, so it's just been a really great experience. We have four, four training sessions a day, six hours a day. Uh, the strength stuff is crazy, man. We do all kinds of like lifting rocks and carrying rocks and man carries and stuff. Uh, I feel like I've just got so strong in the time that I've been here. And then uh, today was a good day because uh, my buddy uh, AJ Ricardi came up from Shanghai Sports University. He's a Sanda fighter and he's a little bit like me. He spent two years in Thailand, I think, learning Muay Thai. He had some professional Muay Thai fights. He had some boxing fights. He had some Savat fights and now he's doing Sanda. He came up and we had the sparring. We were sparring every Wednesday and the kids all beat the crap out of each other. And then uh, me and AJ uh, beat the crap out of each other and gave the kids a, a little show, which was nice. They got to see two big guys, you know, swinging at each other. And for me, it's my first Sanda sparring, you know, so, so it was cool. It's cool. It's been a really good time. So, uh, some people call this work. We call it training. Water. <laughs> yeah, I found a trick. Sifu checks the buckets to make sure that you fill them with water, right? I found a trick. If I fill it halfway with rocks, I don't have to put so much water in there. And he hasn't figured it out yet! Be like water. Be like water. Fill the bucket. <laughs> Sometimes I make them explain this exercise to me because I don't feel like doing it. I'm like, and uh, so we what, what? What with the buckets? What do we do with the buckets again? Do what with them? Putting them where? I I, I don't understand. <laughs> say hello, Hugo. Hello. What? No, say hello. I'm so much in, enjoying this so much. I am actually. <laughs> you paid money for this, didn't you, Hugo? Yeah, I did. Hey, look, I'm working hard here. Yeah. This is heavy. This, and this is the easy part. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. There's a reason why I don't fight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this kind of pain. I see. Taking pleasure in other people's pain. Follow hey, me around with the camera. Get out of here. I got no comment. I got no comment. The baby ain't mine. Those are allegations. Those are mere allegations. There is no corruption in that Teamsters Union.
Oh yeah, AJ Riccardi, you cannot carry the man. I am a man and you cannot carry me. The man carry. If you make any comments about my weight, I'll kill you. Oh, I think I have to pee. I'm going to vomit on you. Come on, AJ, I'm shouting my best slogan. AJ, he did good, he carried the man. One thousand one hundred and thirty-seven. One thousand one hundred and thirty-eight. I don't know if you heard me counting, but I did a lot. I did over a thousand. <laughs> Greg, I need to do a two camera, so what we do, we go three. And then you don't say ready, because then the people can hear it. All right, anyway, almost every morning, he makes us come down the hill. We got to find a rock. Sometimes it's two small rocks, and we use them for exercise. And sometimes it's a big rock, and it's competition. Who's got the biggest rock? And Yaka always has the biggest rock. The guy is rock crazy. And for me, I get a rock that's big enough that it passes muster, but not so big that you know, I'm going to throw my back out. I know it's supposed to be the Shaolin Temple, but sometimes it feels a little bit like a health spa. <laughs> it's like I'm out here, I'm, you know, I got my Nautilus machines here, I'm doing my weight training, uh, I got a really nice tan, I lost uh, some weight. Your massage has been moved to 3 p.m., just to let you know. <laughs> But by massage, she means the kids are going to hit me with those sticks. Ah. Ah. Oh. And other than the fact that it really, really, really hurts, uh, it's very much like a spa. <sighs> Where's she? Where's she? Where's she? Where's she? Where's she? Where's she?